Hello. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to use uh, the address block, greeting line, and insert merge field uh, features within Microsoft Word uh, after we've imported a database access file and have that associated with our Word document. If you're watching this video and you've watched the previous video, you should already have this open. If not, if it's not open, you can just go to Start Mail Merge again, Step by Step Mail Word Wizard and it should open up to the write your letter step because it knows what you've done if not you might be at the the first page again and you just want to click through next like you've already done because it's not going to change anything okay so we're going to do the address block but first once we click on that we're going to be presented with this little area right here now first we have to match the fields now this allows you to identify the correct address elements from your mailing list or what you've imported from uh, access so we're going to associate all these things with uh, things from our customer information. So customer's first name, customer's last name. If you only have one field for this, um, that really doesn't matter. Uh, as, just choose it as the first name. Um, we're then going to choose an address, which will be for us street. Um, our city's already been picked up by Microsoft Word. Our state, since we're in Canada, we choose province. And we scroll down here. I've created a, new, uh, a courtesy title, uh, which you would think as uh, Mr. Mrs. Miss, um, and you're going to want to scroll that for me. It's M slash M. So that's all you need to do for that. Just click OK. And then it'll automatically format it depending on what you wish. I like the Mr. Um, first, and then, then first name, last name, and then if there's a suffix at the end, junior, senior, uh, it'll appear there. So this is the way it'll show for uh, my example. So I'm going to click OK. And this creates an address block here right now. I'm just actually going to go and drop this down one and drop it down again and insert a date. I always like to have a date on the beginning of a letter because it just makes it a little bit more formal. All right. Now that we've created our address block there, uh, we're not going to worry about what it looks like right now. So you just do and hit another enter, enter, and we're going to do the greeting line. Now we go over here to greeting line. We click that. And this allows us to choose what type of greeting we're going to use. Um, I would actually like to use their uh, their full name, or I believe, and that just makes it seem more professional to me. So I'm going to choose this one. Got to click OK. We don't have to match fields because we've already done. And then we're going to actually write our letter. Now I'm just going to write a generic letter inviting uh, my uh, my customer. Uh, to a little get together for all of my customers to showcase new products. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to thank them first for their patronage. It just seems polite. So thank you. And this is where we're going to actually use the manage uh, insert merge. So you're going to want to go over to your uh, mailings tab, and there's a little thing here that allows you to insert a merge field. Now I'm just going to insert their first name comma thank you and that will actually put the customer's name depending on uh, information in the database so thank you customer name for your continued patronage uh, I'm not very good at spelling so and I'll insert my letter Now that's just something a little generic. You can write whatever you want, and you could actually insert any number of fields uh, depending on what you'd like to do. But we're not going to insert any more fields. I'm then going to tell them about the time. And I'm just going to make it generic. You're also going to want to, uh, since there are different salesmen in our company uh, selling to different clients, we'd like to insert uh, a salutations from the person who sold them the original product. So I would just put, you know, best regards. And then here we're going to use insert merge field, employee first name, space, insert merge field, employee last name. 
Now that just has a generic letter for us right there. And if you want, you go over to the preview results. Now this shows you what the letter will actually look with and replace the actual merge fields with what they will be. So as you see right here, it shows the customer's name, their address, their city, on uh, province, and postal code. It shows their name, and it, I'm the salesperson for this exact person. But if you cycle through the different letters, because we have about 20 different customers, you will see that it changes. And then once we get to a person who has a different salesman, it changes the name as well. So if you go through here, you can see all these different things. Uh, now that's everything we're going to do in this video. In the next video, we're going to show you how you want to finish this off um, by creating a file with individual letters. Um, so thank you very much for watching and tune in for the next video.